<laughs> What's up, Dookie? Hey, friends. Happy, happy Wednesday. Today is all about... Dookie, come here. Come up here. He's so good about jumping. He won't even jump up here. Come here. Unless I have a treat. I'll give him a piece of CBD. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hello. Oh, look, you're so tiny. They can barely see you. Oh, this is Tukey Bear. Tukey Bear is my second Labrador retriever son. Um, but he's not who we're going to be talking about today. So I am so glad that you have joined me. I am Elka Bostwick. I'm the founder of I guess the endless community and I created it for my team endless possibilities. And I am just excited to share with you. So the time of season is it's cold, right? Not only is it cold, um, but this is where stiff and sore joints start to come in. And I just want to talk to you guys about my stiff and sore joint slash arthritis regimen that I do for my recently diagnosed, um, almost eight year old, seven and a half year old American Labrador Cedar Bostwick. Cedar Chester Bostwick is his actual name, just in case you guys want to know. <laughs> so when Cedar was about eight weeks old, he, we brought him home. He was loving life. He was doing all the things that a dog can do. And we had him out on our front yard and he was running, 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 running. And boom, he hit the curb. Like when he hit the curb, I don't even know how it was possible, but he hit the curb with his right front shoulder. He tucked it under and he let out a yelp like I had never heard before. In fact, I was just like, what in the world? And my son ran over, my husband ran over, and we were all kind of couldn't believe what had happened. And he started limping. And I was like, crap, should we take him to the doctor? And it wasn't about, I don't know, 30 seconds later, he started running and jumping around. And so it was almost like, you know, the kid that gets hurt and then all of a sudden he's just fine. That was Cedar. A hundred percent Cedar. We never thought anything over it. And then throughout his years, especially six years, um, every once in a while he would get a limp to him. And as he's gotten older, he started limping even more, right? We, we see these things in our pets and it just happens, right? And I've said it before on lives, but there's three main contributors to our pet's life. We have diet, genetics, and bad luck, right? Well, Cedar has been a pottery strong dog since he was seven and a half weeks old. He has been to the vet. This is now his third time outside of his puppy vaccines that he has actually been to the vet for something. Very minimal. Never had ear infections. Never had allergies. Never had any issues. The three times he went to the vet, uh, the first one was he cut himself running out into the field. <laughs> we had to go get make sure that he didn't need stitches. First time he ever went to the vet, he just cut himself wide open, um, but he had fun doing it. So we didn't need stitches. It was super that simple. Second time to the vet, he got neutered. We neutered him. We took him to the vet. That was the second procedure. Third time was just a couple weeks ago. Um, Cedar had woke up. And he had a limp. Now he had had this limp usually when our oldest son would take him out and he'd go run him. Um, cause my oldest son loves to run and he loves to take Cedar out and they go run up our mountain. We run up our mountain, run through our mountain. We have a huge, like 5,000 acres behind us and it takes us up the Canyon. And my older son would take him out running. So I called my son one morning, he woke up and he was really limp and really bad. And I said, Hey, I said, did you take Cedar running last night? And Jager, my son, said, no, I haven't taken him in a couple of weeks. And I went, uh, uh-oh. And of course, mama's first instinct that steps in is, is this cancer? Does he have bone cancer? Blah! Right? Or all of the things that I could possibly think of. And so I pulled out, I have, a, I have my master herbalist. I pulled out all of my tips and tricks, my oils, my range of motion. I took all of my vet tech history. And I started him on an immediate protocol. And I was like, this is what we're going to do. And I ordered some stuff from Pottery that he hadn't necessarily been on before. And I was like, here's my regimen. And I started this regimen. And usually within a couple of days, um, usually within a couple of days, I'll give him aches away for a few days, um, which is a occasional discomfort. Um, usually I can get his limb to go away. Here we are, eight days. 
and he is not improving. Now, he's not crying. He's not complaining. It's just there's a limp. We were getting ready to go hunting for uh, a week, and I just didn't want him to be uncomfortable. I wanted him to be able to be himself. So we headed to the vet. We had x-rays done because I was like, I needed a definitive diagnosis. I felt really good about his treatment, his physical therapy I had done, his massage techniques that I had done on him, the oils I had used on him and all the things, right? And um, so we had x-rays done because I was like, something is going on in his shoulders. And lo and behold, the x-rays came back that right where he had injured himself as a puppy, he had a tiny I'm talking tiny amount of arthritis that was starting to set in, but his elbow looked good. His wrist looked good. Everything really did. It was just in this front part of his shoulder. Right. And Cedar's always been my little dramatic feller. So he loves the extra attention that mom is giving him. Right. So mom stepped up the protocol. I'm like three times a day. I'm like, lay down, let's get a massage. Oh, grab the ice. Mom gets more time with him. And so he had a hundred percent adjusted to what I was spoiling with. So he was just like, Oh, this is heaven. I'm like, Oh, come climb up on my bed. Oh, let me massage your shoulder for an hour. I was like, Oh, let me put some massage oils on you. And Cedar just loved it. And so Dr. Barney, who's my Barney, or who's my, who's, who's our vet, he was like, now, do you think that Cedar is really in pain? Like, I know that he's not getting any better, but is he playing like he's hurt a little more because you're giving him all this extra attention? And I was like, no way. Cedar would never do that. Yeah, Cedar totally was. Let me tell you, Mr. Cedar had me wrapped around his finger because I had stepped in full blown and, um, really stepped in to help him. Right. So this all happened, which I absolutely love. Um, I love Cedar and I love spending the extra time with him, but I really had to decide was how bad his stiff and sore joints. And that was, and so I put him on a strict pottery regimen. Um, some of these things he's always been on, but just like all pet parents, right. Sometimes there's an ebb and flow. Sometimes we do spurts and stops with some things because we are not always as committed or we forget or so-and-so is feeding. And sometimes it's just not super consistent. So I put, and I made a schedule for the kids that were feeding. And I was like, Cedar has to have this morning and night, no matter what. And here we are three weeks into it. So after the first eight days of hardcore mama attention, I stepped back once I realized it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I stepped back and I stepped in with all natural and holistic supplements. Now I did this, um, very much. So was my own decision as a pet parent, the vet wanted him to be put on Rimadil or send me home with Rimadil. And I chose against it. Um, this was my choice. I told him I was going to take the all natural route. And I will tell you, just like I tell all pet parents that I work with every day is taking an all natural and holistic route means you continuously do it. It's not like you can just give Rimadil and your pet's fine. It's not like you can just give a steroid, right? When it comes to all natural and holistic, it means consistency is key. Number one. Two is making sure you're giving a dose that's proper to the size and weight of your pet, right? And three, you must be patient. Sometimes it can take up to 90 days to see full improvement of our products all products. When you take a natural route, it's herbs and supplements. It's not like anything that has chemical or synthetic preservatives in it. Right. I'm sure you guys as humans have experienced the same thing, right? So three things, proper dosage, be patient, give it a minimum of 90 days. And, um, (laughs) I just had a brain fart. I looked down. I totally fell, fell off my thing, (laughs) but fell off my brain. Um, so with that being said, Number one thing I give to him every single morning and every, and I give this, it is breakfast and with dinner every night. And so I just want to share it with you. If you have a friend that has stiffer sort joints, maybe you're a pet sitter and you have, um, now that you're starting to do some dog walkings, you're starting and it's getting colder. You're starting to see some of these pets maybe become more uncomfortable. Now I want to give you some recommendations to recommend to pet parents, or maybe you have some friends where you go to their house and you're seeing, say, Hey, I've got a friend that can help you. 
let them know who your pet pro is, get them connected and let us help support them. Or maybe you're interested in becoming a pet pro. Take a look at our opportunity on Friday. Great too. Number one product, Joint Support Plus. I love this. It has glucosamine, green lipped muscle. If you haven't heard of that one, look it up. Chondroitin, it has Bazuela, um, Cordalis, turmeric, yucca, and hyaluronic acid. I always mess that up, but so much easier to say I can actually pronounce everything and there's nothing that's going to take me longer than just using my English language to fill it out. Joint Support Plus every morning and every night. And I'll show you this. They come in these round things. I just, I don't really want to break it up, but I'll break off a corner so you guys can see. So super easy to break up. I just break it up, pop it into his food. So he gets joint support plus religiously. He gets this wild Alaskan salmon and Pollock oil. This is going to help reduce anti-inflammatory. This is going to help reduce anything in his joints. This is going to help his heart. It's going to help his skin. It's going to help his coat. I pump this on his food twice a day. It also helps labs with shedding. I should do a video about that. I give him chicken uh, or beef bone broth. I give him a minimum of three quarters of a cup every single night. Without a doubt, he gets this. If he doesn't get the chicken or the beef, I actually have some homemade caribou and deer bone broth that my dogs also get because I'm totally into making my own. Um, but this is awesome because I, I have a whole video on bone broth. If you guys haven't uh, searched it in the group, please do so. This helps with collagen, joints, inflammation, and the whole nine yards. So these are three core products that I do every day. My fourth product I do every single day is the CBD Mega. This is a calming mobility, seasonal allergy, and overall vitality. CBD is awesome for overall health. Um, I give him, so he's 90 pounds. I give him two chews in the morning and three chews at night. Oh, they smell so good. Um, and I give those every single day. Now, when he's having his moments, okay, which right now mornings are his hardest. Um, I give aches away every morning to help him to wake up and loosen up. I give this once a day. But this aches away really helps with his um, aches and discomfort. And I did a whole video on this one, but it's got hemp seed oil, hemp seed powder. It's also got glucosamine, flaxseed, tryptophan, L tryptophan, salmon oil. Um, and this is absolutely 100% so good for all of those stiff, sore, jointed pets that you have. Um, you, we, uh, oh my gosh, do you have a cat that's a senior cat, a senior, a senior cat? You can do this exact same protocol. All you have to do is buy the joint support specifically for cats because it's formulated differently than the dogs. But you can give the salmon oil. You can give the bone broth. You can give the CBD. I give this to Olive every once in a while as a treat. Um, you can also give aches away if, she needs, if, if your kitties need it. You can see it's formulated for cats and dogs. Um, but that is my number one protocol for stiff and sore joints. I will now do this um, continuously and Cedar's limp is still there, but it's not as profound. He's comfortable. He acts like a puppy. He gets out there and chases Tukey. When um, my grand dog Angus comes over, he plays with Angus, who's what, like six or seven months old. Um, he's filling his oats. And of course, anytime mom will give him extra, extra time and attention, he's a little more dramatic and pretends like he's dying, but he's done so well. Um, we've been doing it for 30 days now. I can't wait to see where he's at in 60 days with this regimen. Um, so if you have a friend or a family member or you yourself is experiencing something with your pets, these are my personal recommendations I use on Cedar. I will keep you posted and updated, but I hope that this was helpful and I hope you guys have an amazing day rest of your evening. So peace out, like trout, kiss all of your fur babies on the snout. Signing off until Friday. I'll be on Friday. Good night.